Hey everybody, welcome back. Alright, so we're continuing our story mode using nothing but our fists. Alright, so we need to unlock this door. Which key is it? It was that one. Alright, cool. Alright, so if I remember correctly from previous playthroughs, there's going to be a lot of zombies in here. There's one. There's usually another one that comes walking up when I'm fighting in here. At least, yeah, there's that other one. And there could be a third one, but I don't... I don't think there's a third one, but there could be. Alright, come on over here. Yeah, yeah. That's how we do that. Uh, where did the other one go? I don't see him. Let's get a little bit more light in here for the moment. And walk very cautiously over here. Where did they go? Wait, did I just... No, I thought I saw him down the hall. Alright, whatever. All this means is that the damn zombie's gonna come. Show up at the, like, the worst time. While I'm not paying attention, while I'm looting something. But that's okay, we'll deal with it. I don't need any of this stuff. Again, because we started off as the knight. Um, and started off with all this sweet armor. There's really not much for us in the way of loot. Um, yeah. But I'm not complaining, once again. Because the armor is sweet, and it makes life much easier. wonder where that other zombie went. I don't understand. Alright, whatever. Alright, so I'm just looking at the tables, trying to see if there's anything useful. Hey, there's a zombie right there. That was pretty sweet that his weapon got stuck on the door. That served me well. There we go. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so let's get the torch going again. Whoa! Give me a second here. Come on, switch away from the torch. Yeah. yeah, it's usually gonna cost you some health to switch from primary to secondary, but you're used to it. I'm tripping over this damn corpse here. There we are. Okay, and blah. Well, wait a minute. Did we already put on the a belt? No, we didn't. There we go. There we go. That's going to make all the difference in the world. Yeah, I used to have trouble fighting enemies and being vulnerable to their attacks until I found a leather belt. Suddenly, it was as if nobody could hurt me. Yeah, those were pink gauntlets. That's not going to happen. Consignment has arrived. I must find a suitable place and begin work. Um, if you want to read that, go ahead and pause it and check it out. A text on ghosts. Okay. So we've cleared this room out. Let's move on. We checked both of those areas. Come on. We checked... This room? No, we didn't. Not yet. Okay. Uh, hmm. I wonder if that's a better belt than the one I have on. Yeah, they look the same. Uh, van braces don't matter, because if I tried to put them on, it would take off my uh, the armor that's on my torso. And these are bathrooms.
All right. Now, there should be... I think this is just a normal zombie, but I th think eventually here... No, the... I was thinking about the, the proctors not to like the third... The third floor, right? I think I'm losing my mind. I don't think... I'm sitting here thinking, oh man, I'm about to fight the Proctor, but I really, now that I think about it, I don't think that happens on this floor, but I don't know. My brain has been addled by just way too many playthroughs. Let me get some light here, because it is really dark. There we go. Um... I'm just, I'm glancing around here. It's just like some these little stakes. The only thing you can really pick up in here. And I don't need them, obviously. Okay. So the question is... Right, left. Uh, that's right, the health cell is over here on the left. Very good. Go ahead and put that in there. That, of course, will come in handy at some point. You can pretty much bet on that. Um, there is a loot container here, but who cares? Or wait a minute, let me, actually, let me... No, that's right, the waistcoat would replace my armor. It doesn't go under it. Um, okay, so actually, before we get too far off, Track. What is... what is this way? I don't know. I don't care. I was hoping it would just be like a single room. Uh-oh. This dude was just... Somehow knew I was there from like two rooms over and he just comes screaming through. Yes, that is a bedpan that I'm getting the shit beat out of me with. Talk about adding insult to injury. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, man. I don't know what's going on, but I've, once again, it's one of those fights where I've totally forgotten how to fight. And I can't make anything happen here. This is ridiculous. why this happens, but if you've watched any of these episodes, you know damn well this always happens to me. Where I go around beating the shit out of everyone, and then just for some reason there's a fight that I just... I, it's not that I can't win, it's like I can't even hit the other person. Anyway, so we'll wake up. Wow, what happened? I'll tell you what happened, you fucking sucked. That's what happened. Alright, so that zombie that beat the piss out of us, or I guess more appropriately, the shit out of us with a bedpan, has now disappeared somewhere else. Good riddance, I don't care. I just... <laughs> makes absolutely no sense. We've had no trouble whatsoever this playthrough so far. No trouble fighting the damn zombies, and then that one comes along. It's not even a special zombie of some sort. Whatever. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is a different one. Because he doesn't have a bedpan, he has a crutch. I want to try an uppercut. Press the wrong button. <laughs> so, whatever. Never mind. Screw the uppercut. Alright, that'll be good. As long as there's enough light to see right now, I'm not switching to the torch for the moment. Because the zombies are coming a little fast and furious. We got this one coming our way. Let's try to start with an uppercut. 
And that did not work. And there's another zombie behind me. It's the one with the bedpan. Yeah. Missed with the uppercut again. I'm gonna have to... Yes, yes, help me with the bedpan. And it is really dark over here. Yeah! What? Okay, I just got knocked unconscious for the second time by this zombie. So that tells me it's not a fluke, there's something about that zombie. Because I just beat the shit out of this one, and yet somehow the bedpan zombie beat the shit out of me again. I, what, what in, you know what? I want to track that bedpan zombie down so bad and beat the fucking piss out of him. It's not good enough to just like, oh well, you know, he, he's gone, maybe we'll run into him again. That's not good enough. What the fuck? Clearly there's someone in here. Who the fuck is it? Oh, for God's sake, come out! Yes, I can't even see what the hell is going on. Oh, well, they're closing the door. Alright. Shit. Let's throw the torch on the ground. And let's go back to work on trying to get this zombie to come out. This is so stupid. There we go. And of course, this one's got a real weapon. Why did I let him out? I don't know. Oh, Jesus Christ. I would stay in close to reduce the effectiveness of his weapon and all that kind of bullshit. But then there's like no force behind my punches. Like this. You see what I'm saying? I can punch him a thousand times, but it's going to take forever. But sometimes you just do what you got to do, I guess. Anyway. Alright. Nothing I want here. Was this just the bathroom? Yeah. Maybe this... Eh, the zombie was probably so pissed off because he was trying to relieve himself. And I kept fucking with the door. Alright, where is the bedpan zombie? I'm still extremely angry about that. I'm also killing a little bit of time waiting for some of my health to regen right now. Where are you, bedpan zombie? I guess it didn't, didn't run back this way. Or maybe it did, I wouldn't know. Whatever. Uh-oh. Yep, that's the bedpan zombie. And once again, I'm powerless to fight the zombie. I can't land a hit to save my life. It's all psychological, clearly. None of these punches are landing. You know what? I'm about to lose my fucking mind. There we go. Finally. After all of that shit. How? I, I don't understand. I don't fucking care. Not even gonna think about it anymore. We're gonna move on. Hmm, okay. 75,000 doors to choose from. I love that. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think there's two of them in there. And I don't have a lot of health right now, so we're not going in there. Oh, blue pants. How did you know? It's exactly what I wanted. Uh, wait, that is a loot container. So that's a worn waistcoat, but once again, that would replace the armor on my torso, and that's not going to happen. Washroom. Damn, I've got so much red health now, I almost have to use a health salve already. Not quite yet, but 
It's getting there. Yeah, that room with the two zombies in it. I was just gonna leave it, but now that I'm thinking about it. Come on, get through the fucking doorway. Now that I'm thinking about it, I I gotta do it. If there are two of them in here, I can probably get at least one of them to kill the other before I have to engage, so that's a good thing. How dark is it here? Pretty dark. Not on the other side, so that's okay. Alright. How many? Yeah, there are two, but if I get them to swing at me, like I've said, they usually will hit themselves hit each other. You hear that? Oh, yes. They are beating the shit out of each other right now. We can't see it, but I don't want to spoil it, so I'm going to wait. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds brutal. They are really going at it. Alright, sounds like one of them's dead. Happy days are here again. Oh, Christ. Is it another bed pan? No, it's not. Again, just trying to take away the shit, the range advantage, but my punches have no power in that case. Man, I've just, fuck, I've gotten so bad over the course of this episode, get, getting to the point where I have no confidence in myself going in and fighting now. At the beginning of the episode, I had no fear. Rusted lamellar, but again, we can't, can't wear those, so it's pointless. There's the corpse of the other zombie. Alright. So now that this story has become a story of lost confidence. And uh, a long journey, a long and bloody journey in which the protagonist seeks to to find, once again, his, the confidence to fight zombies with his fists. A story of redemption. Um, alright, I remember this place from earlier runs. There's just a, like a crematoria over here and some other crap. Nothing important. Uh, that's right, we've already been here. Um, so I... Yeah, I believe we have to go this way. And it also just dawned on me, as I'm sitting here thinking about it, that I forgot to pick up a damn compass earlier. But that's alright. There will be another compass. But I totally should have picked it up the first time. It's never good when the zombies are so eager to fight that they literally come just running at you. It's just not a good sign. Jesus Christ. See, these punches have like no strength behind them. It doesn't matter that he can't hit me with this, his axe blade because I'm... Let's see how long this takes. I'm curious. Okay, never mind. He's throwing me around with his arm. But still, this should go to demonstrate very well that it's not a solution to, to get in close and dirty box. It's not a solution. Come on, where's my damn torch? There it is. Alright, there's some lore. You can go ahead and pause that if you want to read it, as always. Same story here. What is that? That's ah, a leather vest. These are all things, they're all armors that you wear on the, the outermost layer, which is where my plate armor is, so... Can't wear them. Nothing here. 
That's just a damn washroom. Alright, more lore for you. Well, that's, that's just tiny, but whatever. Corpse there. Some leather trousers and stuff. Now the tunic. Does the tunic go on? Oh, what am I doing? The tunic goes on underneath, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. There we go. Sweet. A little extra armor. Alright. Some more lore there and here. Okay, was there anything... Get out of my way, chair. Was there anything else in this room? I don't know if there is. And nothing in here. Shit. Alright. All right, so that's going to do it for today's episode. Next time, we'll open this door and see what kind of horrors await us. Thank you for tuning in. As always, please hit the like button if you enjoy this series. And we'll see you next time for some more Xanima.